Welcome to the XTech Solutions YouTube channel. Today we will discuss how to archive your emails in Outlook 2013 and 2016. Archiving is an important feature um, used to control your mailbox size if your mailbox gets increasingly large and uh, also to keep the um, you know to keep everything organized. You may want to for instance um, arc, um, take your emails from any emails from like five year, years ago and before and keep them in a separate um, separate folder, separate files on your Outlook and just keep them organized that way. Archiving works well for in that regards and also in managing your mailbox size. So here let's get started. I'm going to launch the Outlook client here. In our scenario we're using Outlook 2016 but this, um, the same procedures will apply for 2013. It's just um, I'll point out those uh, minor differences but uh, it's, uh, it's, it's almost the same. So here we have it. We have a mailbox with emails. This is our company mailbox, one of our company mailboxes. And we have emails from right now all the way back to close to when we started this, um, when we opened up the, the mailbox, which is about 2012. So that's about um, almost four years ago. So we've got almost four years of emails. Of course, it's there's not that many emails in this um, mailbox because it's... Um, we only use them for like uh, arbitrary information advertising, and um, but it will work. It, this works really well in our example here. So, what archiving does is that it puts your um, it puts a separate um, f what we call a, a PST file on the um, on your left side of Outlook. It will be known as arc. It will be archive here, and that will contain all your your subfolders and your inbox, your main folders, your inbox, your sent items. It will not contain your contacts and tasks. So don't worry, you will not lose any of those from your your um, your main mailbox right here. So let's get started. To, in order to archive, we got to click on the File tab on the top, and then on the Info right here, you go under Account Settings, and no, not Account Settings, Tools, under Mailbox Settings, Tools. Now in Outlook 2013, you'll see something slightly different. It, it will be a um, Cleanup Tools, but it will be the same features. Cl opened up that, you'll see an Archive um, option there in 2013. In, in 2016, it's known as Cleanup Old Items. So we have it here, clean up old items. And what we're discussing is um, it's a manual archiving feature. Um, you, but um, there's also an auto archiving feature that work, you know, you could set it to run every um, every few weeks or so or every two weeks. In, in our case, we just discussed the, uh, the manual archiving feature. The, uh, the archiving feature, I personally like to use this uh, manual feature because um, I, I never like the auto archiving. I, I, you know, I like to keep uh, at least a few years worth of emails and anything older than that. I uh, I, uh, I prefer to decide when to put them in archive. So this feature gives you uh, complete control over that. So we make sure it's selected on archive this folder and all subfolders, and we click on this main f the root here on the top. So that way it includes this folder and all the subfolders underneath it. This is very confusing. It's not include the calendars and contacts just want to make sure you're aware of that so that's the confusing part it's not going to include you know you don't need to worry about events or um your personal contacts being taken away from your main mailbox so it's just going to take away from your drafts your sent items and any in any subfolders you have underneath your any of your inboxes or anything else so it's just emails that's going to be archived it's very important so we click back here make sure we're selecting on the top and down here, this is the date, archive items older than. And in our scenario, let's start with archiving all emails older than maybe three years ago. So we're going to rewind back in time to uh, 2013. And this is good. So any emails older than, say, um, April 1st, 2013 will be put into an archive file. So over here, down here, archive file, this is the location of our archive file. So this is the default location. It's within the documents, but you can change it. You could um, select your own location and you just, you know, select it there and then it'll use that location. So we click here, we, we verify everything's correct. And then we hit OK here. The file name is not valid. Okay. 
we browse here. There we go. We had, had to hit it again. And then now it's archiving. So it turns out that um, there might have been a slight glitch in the very beginning where it couldn't, it t didn't take the file, but I just had to re-click the option. So let's do it. Let do its thing. There you see it on the left side. You see under archives. This is where the emails are being archived. And I, it may have completed already. Right, right down there was archiving, but now it's there's no status anymore. So there we have it. We have this inbox right here, which contains everything's up to um, anything before April 1st, 2013. And you'll notice that on your main mailbox up here, yes, everything else before April 1st, 2013 is now gone and it's moved to the archive. Got sent items also. There's not, there was not much emails in the sent items here, so that hasn't been taken away. But you'll see if there was any sent items, it would have been placed into the, the sent items folder as well. So one of the things with archiving is that you, it's, you, some users like to do it every few years. Some like to do it once, um, once a year. Say for instance, I archived the emails for any, any emails older than three years ago and. Now I decide um, a few months um, from now my my mailbox gets um, this live mailbox gets increasingly large and I want to archive any emails pr um, from say two years ago and before and put them in the same archive folder. The way the way we do that is we simply just go back to the archiving option, the file tab, info, the tools, the mailbox settings, and clean up old items. Then we change the date archive. We, so all we do is so we change the date. We make sure, very important, we make sure we select on the root of this emails, of this mailbox, because you don't want it to just include the um, the inbox or a, just a, um, a single folder in there. You want to include the whole mailbox. So make sure you select the root, archive this folder and all subfolders, archive older than, and we simply just change the date. Say we go forward in time a little bit, so everything from April 1st, 2014. And we we can keep it on the same file or we can put it on a different file. And in our scenario, we're just going to put it on the same file. So what this is going to do is that we're going to archive anything. We're going to append to that archive file that we created a few minutes ago and include any emails from basically older than April 1st, 2014, we put it there, which essentially means that we're now adding, archiving all the emails that were from the uh, from April 1st of 2013 to March 31st of 2014. So within a year's time. So we hit OK here. We go back. He knows down here it's archiving. We'll let it do its thing. And looks like it's finished. Scroll down. And there we have it. All the emails from 2013 are now gone and now been moved to this archive, this inbox in the archive. Yep, there we go. We were we were on this uh, email before, and this is all the emails now, the 2013 emails, and they are all here, all the way up to 2014. And let's check any sent items, maybe moved over. Oh, good. So including on the sent items as well, you, there were three emails here and two of them were within that time frame previously so they've been moved over as well they've been moved over to sent items here and there we have it the sent emails and and there you have it that's how we do use the um, the archiving feature within Outlook 2013 and 2016 one thing that you um you might notice on other videos but they're not going to they don't mention and it's really worth mentioning is the fact that these archive files should be backed up on a regular basis if you may ever make an archive file this what this does is that it it keeps um it organizes emails on a separate file on your computer and 
the reason why you want to back it up is just in case your computer fails, your hard drive fails, you don't want to lose those uh, those um, those years and years, potentially years and years worth of emails. So what we'd like to do is that from time to time, we'd like to back up those files. So the way we do it is that we can close that. we got to make sure your Outlook client is closed. And then you open up, you look, you browse the location of that uh, the archive file, in which case it's on the My Documents, on the Documents folder, and Outlook files. And this archive file right here, you can basically, you can copy it, you can put in, you can plug in a thumb drive, an external hard drive, and just copy it and paste it to um to that location. It's just, in this case, we're pasting on the desktop, <laughs> which... In a way, it doesn't help that much because it's still this is still on the local computer. But in a case where um, you know you really want to back it up, you just plug in a hard um, external hard drive, external um, uh, media, and then just copy and paste this archive file onto that um, that uh, external device, and that you know then you'll have a backup of it. And you can you can rename the file if you need um, when you copy it over. You can give it a, a certain date frame, and uh, you know that that way you can organize it from there. And that's that's how we uh, archive emails on this um, Outlook 2013-2016 client. So thank you for watching this video. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any comments or suggestions, please write them down in the comment section and we will consider them for our next video. Thank you.